Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Island Boy Cuisine. Today we're going to be making braised lamb using our own Island Boy Cuisine jerk sauce. Okay folks, today's video is going to be mostly instructional. So take close notes and make sure you follow our instructions. You're going to have a phenomenal dish when this is over. So we have our lamb here and we're going to be cutting it into one inch cubes. So today what part of the lamb are we using? We're using the leg of lamb. This is the front leg. I bought it BRT and we just took it out of the net and we're cutting it up into cubes. This is about one pound. So what's BRT? BRT means bone roll and tide. So now you see there's a little extra fat in there. You wanna cut out the excess of it. Um, this is, this is going to add flavor to the dish, but you don't want to make it too greasy. So we can cut out the, a little bit of it as we go. Once we have it into one, ounce, one inch cubes, we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't need a lot for this. Our seasoning is going to be covered by our jerk sauce. So we have a little bit of salt, some pepper, and we're gonna be adding some flour. So why are we using flour today? We are not gonna be frying this dish at all, mm -hmm. and we're gonna use the flour to add body to our sauce, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So we don't want a lot of flour on there, we, we just want to lightly coat it, okay? okay. We're gonna be cooking it in our ceramic dish. You wanna look at this dish over here? So we just have a little flour, and we're just gonna mix it up a little bit. And then we're going to put it in our ceramic dish. You can use a crock pot if you want, but you're not going to get that nice crust on it that you would by putting it in a Dutch oven. By using this, is it like insulated so it just keeps the heat? It traps the heat in there and helps to break down the connective tissues um, and also helps to build the body of the sauce. The reason why traditionally in braising, you want to coat your, your protein and then fry it a little bit till you get that nice golden brown color. Mm -hmm. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use the insulation of the dish, the fat that is on the meat, mm -hmm. to help it to get that color. Okay. So once we've done this, once we've coated it lightly with flour, you don't need a lot. You're going to just put it in your, your pan. And this is about one pound. And don't worry about it being like that. You're just gonna put it like that, cover it up, and put it in the oven. So how long are we putting it in the oven for? We're gonna be cooking it in stages. Mm -hmm. Of course, a stew is not a stew unless it has potato and carrots and other vegetables. For our purposes today, we're gonna to be using potatoes and carrots. Okay? okay? Here. Yes, I'm gonna put this over there and we're gonna start talking about how we cut how we cut our carrots and all. We're gonna put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. That's the first half of it, okay? Okay. All right, so let's get this all oven. In the meantime, because get, guess what, folks? We have so prepared already, but we still want more for dinner. <laughs> all right, so we have different ways of cutting our carrots. I'm gonna let you demo how to do that. Let me just get this out of the way. And you're going to take over and show them. Leave the carrot on there. Okay. All right. So talk to the camera now. <laughs> Potatoes are really soft, so make sure you cut them nice, but you're careful because you don't want to wreck your fingers. Right. Is this good? They're a little bit bigger than I'd like, but we'll make them work. I'll cut this one in half. All right. So <laughs> basically, what I saw what you did there. You want to, when you cut your potatoes in half, mm -hmm. you want to lay them flat because that way you're protecting yourself. If mm -hmm. they're round, they're about, they will slide around and you mm -hmm. could hurt yourself. Okay. So when you cut them in half lengthwise, mm -hmm. then you open the halves, put them on the side and you cut down the center. Okay. So these are about a good size that you want. Yay! All right. Then the next thing we want to cut is our carrots. So we get some oblique shapes on it. So with our bleak cutting, mm -hmm. is it similar to how we cut our potatoes? No, we kind of, those would be kind of like chunks or dice. So 
when we cut our carrots, you want to kind of roll your carrot. You, cut, you want to make them nice and sexy there. Kind of like big triangles. It's almost like cutting a pencil. Yeah, sharpening a twiddling or whittling a pencil. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. So once you do that, then you'll be good to go. All right. All right. So after 40 minutes, after 40 minutes, you're going to want to take your meat out of the oven. Mm -hmm. By then, you should have a nice golden brown color on it, crust, because of the, the heat coming back on it and caramelizing the flour. With that happening, when, once that happens, with the lamb, inspect your pot, look at your pot. If there's a lot of grease in there or fat, you want to pour off a little bit of it. Then you're going to add, listen now, listen, <laughs> all right? You want to add your vegetables to your pot mm -hmm. and you want to mix it. You want to turn it over so you have the potato and the carrots interspersed in between it. So why did you add your vegetables on our second time around? Um, because you don't want your vegetables overcooking. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the carrots and the potatoes, the potatoes is going to be the first one to cook. Mm -hmm. So if you put it in there too early, it's going to mush out and um, it's going to be real mealy. <laughs> okay. A good type of potato to use is a red bee potato because that's more firmer. Mm -hmm. uh, and at that point, you don't have to peel them. We're using a russet potato today, or a potato that is suitable for baking. Mm -hmm. So when you bite into it, it gets real mealy. Okay? Yeah. All right. So anyway, let's move this out of the way. Time for the big show. Mm -hmm. This is what our finished product look like. As you can see, look at that nice, sexy color there. All right? And it's just, you have the carrots in there. You're not going to see much of them at this point because they're covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to plate up our dish. Oh, did I say to add the, did I mention to add the, the sauce? Mm -hmm. So when you, after you did your potatoes, you add your potatoes and your carrots, mm -hmm. you're going to add a half a bottle. That seems like a lot. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> okay. So you add half a bottle of your sauce and you're going to cover it back and put it into the, the oven for an additional 35 to 40 minutes and it's not set in stone depending on how calibrated your oven is it may take a little bit longer it might take a little less so the best way to find out is to check it how are you going to check it i don't know how come on what do you love to do poke stuff no eat right oh, so yeah, you just bite a piece of it all right so here we go this is what our finished product look like we're going to put it in the plate All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> the flavors of the the molasses in the sauce is gonna come out and give it that tangy feel to it, and then the so the the tomato the acidity helps to make it um tenderize the meat. Okay. All right. So you ready to taste? Yes. All right. Let's try it. I'll take this one. All right. All right. Mm. Things just melting him up. Mm. Trust me, people. You won't be disappointed with this. Simple, simple, easy to go. Great as a one pot meal or a family meal. All righty. Stay tuned for our next episode coming on Friday. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow. All righty. Okay. All righty. Take care. Have a great day. Remember, check out our products on www.islandboycuisine. Love to hear your feedback. Bye-bye. Later.